Hi, good afternoon. My name is Mike with Resource Safety Services, Safety Products Incorporated. Whew, that was quite a fall. Good thing I had my harness on. Today I'm wearing the FallTech Comfort Tech Gel Harness. This harness has ballistic polyester outer shell, has gel foam padding in the shoulders, the legs, and a perforated gel padding in the back for increased air movement to keep the individual cooler. Today we're going to talk about calculating the proper fall distance. At the end, you'll be able to download your own version of a fall distance calculator to use at your job sites. One of the most important aspects of a good fall protection program is being able to calculate the proper fall distance. Today, we're going to look at the five major components that will give you the tools you need to ensure that you calculate the proper fall distance in your program. First thing we need to look at is the length of our lanyard. Most standard lanyards are six feet shock absorbing lanyards, so we'll have six feet to start. Secondly, we're going to look at the elongation distance, and that's going to be the stretch or the elongation of the lanyard that we're using. That is going to be four feet. Now we're going to look at the harness stretch. Because of the immense force that's put on the equipment, they calculated a one foot harness stretch into the calculation. Next, we're going to look at the D-ring or dorsal D-ring height. You'll remember in the past, they used to use the height of an individual, but now they actually use the height from the dorsal D-ring, and that is going to be five feet. Lastly, we're going to look at our safety factor, which is going to be 1.5 feet. Combine these aspects together and you will have a fall distance of 17.5 feet. Make sure you download your own version of your fall distance calculator in the description below. And please remember to subscribe, share, like, and comment. And also remember, let's all work together to keep America safe.